welcome back i see you made it to part two of the tutorial and here he is this is what i just this is what i did last night it's all hard now it's like concrete i didn't have to use water to uh smoothen it out because luckily i didn't rough it rough it up so much and um so that's it so now we're just gonna start the painting process i'm gonna wash the head with soap and water all right, so the head's been washed and dried completely. And I put it back onto this sponge. It fits, it won't shake. And we're gonna start. What I did was just take some basic acrylic paint, some black. I watered it down a bit because I'm just trying to get into the crevices. And here I got a size. I'm using two brushes, by the way. I'm using this just to kind of get everywhere. And then a smaller one that I cut cut these bristles off just to kind of you know this is what I do my spider webs with a lot of guys ask me how do you make webs and um, this is how I usually do it sometimes you mess up because the brush splits like that see the split yeah it's not good so yep these are the two brushes I use um, they don't really matter the size Ten zero liner and then a zero round but again I cut the zero round to small but first, I'm gonna use this one. It's gonna to be tough to do it here, so I'm gonna try my best. All right, so let's go. If I mess up, it's your fault, man, because I'm doing this for you. This is just watered down. Maybe not watered down enough. It doesn't matter, you can get all the teeth right now. You're gonna come back and clean it all up. The idea is to get in the crevices of all the teeth because you wanna get in the cracks where it's really hard. You know what I'm gonna do? I got an idea. a little more comfortable it sucks because it's not the view I want to give you but I guess it's the only way you can actually watch me do this for me I'm trying to get into the fine point I don't know if it's even in, in focus so if it isn't in focus we're not going to use this clip black doesn't look good at all that's just to get everything in the inside looks worse actually on camera doesn't look so bad on I'm gonna let this dry for about a minute if the if that just let the inside because it's still it's water it's watery paint so it should, should dry but the inside you can see is a little wet still and I don't want to smudge the white paint because I'm gonna um, put some white and yellow mix for his teeth. All right, so it dried off, sort of. The inside's still a little wet on this left side we see, but his right side. And uh, I don't know, that fingerprint, I can't get that, I don't know, it's not mine. It's, it's like a production fingerprint. I can't get that off. But anyway, I washed my brush, but I'm gonna use the small brush to get into the teeth. I probably could use a big brush, but I'm gonna use a, a yellow right now. A little cheap yellow. I'm gonna try to again. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna do it on my lap. I'm gonna try to do it this way, guys. Forgive me for the ugly exposure. Let's do the try side first. And I'm not 
worried about the gum line because I'm gonna clean that up afterwards. It's just to get every tooth one by one. show you guys what it looks like after I'm just gonna paint the other side now that's what I got I'm gonna clean it up in a second I'm gonna wash my brush my brush is a little stiff right now I'm gonna clean it up at the gum line I'm gonna clean it up actually then add some white on it then do the gum line probably have to add some white again on the teeth but that's gonna be it it's like a bunch of charcoal on this side sharpen the tops and then the bottoms make them thick like this tooth is actually bothering me right here this one Ding. I'm gonna fix that one specifically but I'll be back so that's what we got so far it's still ugly I didn't clean it up I'm just trying to get every tooth and I'm gonna add some white and then clean it up so hopefully this goes well this is where we are right now again I still have to clean some of these teeth I only really notice when I'm looking in the camera like right now, like this one. And then I'm gonna actually do the gum line. That's me putting on some gum lines. I'm gonna clean it up again. Remember, this is all just apply and then clean at the end. So, um, I still didn't apply any white to the teeth, so there's no shading on the teeth yet. But I'll get to it. All right, so I'm kind of a wrap. It's not the greatest, I don't think, anyway, to be honest with you guys. I think the sculpt is a little lumpy and that's why it looks that way. Hopefully when I seal it, it'll look better. So I just taped it all around and I'm gonna seal it and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete. So this is the finished product. It's hard to really tell with this camera um, and the lighting, but there is yellow and white in the teeth. Probably not the best shading. I did do pink and red in the gums. Oh, that black spot on their face is where I had the painter's tape and I peeled it off and a little bit of paint peeled off with it. So that's a mistake. And then uh, I'm gonna have to just scrape out some of the glue from the painter's tape on the chin right there next to the teeth. But overall, that's pretty much it. I mean, on a scale from one to 10, how happy am I? I'm gonna say for the first time doing teeth and the second time using epoxy um, probably like eight. I'm like eight no, I'd say eight eight out of ten There's a few things I feel like I could have did and I should have did I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys the the whole thing but from a distance this guy looks good let's pull him up next to the comic As usual, if you guys like what you see and you want to see more tutorials and Spider-Man customs, don't forget to subscribe.